I'm feeling really positive. I feel like it's going to be a really good week. I have Found nothing planned at all. It's just going to be a nice, homely, cosy vlog. Carrot, oh, yeah. coriander, leaves down again. Butter. I talk to myself. Oh, yeah. Should we go taste test? But I've actually got myself a little. I've actually got myself a little. Tell me it's just shit. I'm going to try and get it. I wonder where I end up next on the corner of home. I wonder where I end up next on the corner of home. I wonder where I end up next on the corner of home. Welcome back to the weekly vlog everyone and thank you so much for being here for another video. I'm so happy and grateful that you decided to tune into my videos and I look like a mess. So excuse that. I've just got back from a dog walk, I've been food shopping and I just wanted to catch you up really because me and Connor are doing a 24 hour fast. We started yesterday, our last meal was at half one in the afternoon. We had a roast and then we had... I had a coffee and some digestive biscuits, not the best food to fast on, but a roast was good. And then we decided we're going to try the 24 hour fast. Now, disclaimer, eating disorders, calorie talking, fasting, if any of that triggers you, probably switch off now or just skip ahead because I don't want to trigger anyone. I know that this could be some potentially triggering to some people and I really don't want to do that. So the reason we've decided to do this fast is because we i struggle a lot with my gut health and i've put it down to after listening to this podcast there's this lady on i can't remember her name but she's on the stephen bartlett diary of a ceo podcast and she basically talks about how being on the pill long term can really mess up your gut mess up like having regular periods going to the toilet and i was on the pill for like since i was like 12 13 and i didn't come off until i was like 21 it's a long time and my periods have only just started getting regular again um and i don't go to the toilet regularly don't know if that is really interesting to a lot of people but she essentially said that when she fasts someone for 24 hours it has an incredible effect on their gut health especially if you've been on the pill long term so i'm trying it today we've not eaten we're not going to eat anything until connie gets back from work um, but I just wanted to catch you up because I'm going to let you know how I get on and how I find it. I think I'm going to try and do it once a week. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, on another note, when I went shopping, the Lenore was on club, club, club card price. I normally get the blue one. What's the blue Lenore called? Everyone loves it. I loved it before Mrs. Hinch blew up by the way but the blue one i can't even think of what it's called <laughs> anyway i thought i'd go for something different i went for summer breeze and let me tell you it smells divine so i'm super excited to use this on our washing i love buying stuff for clothes washing because i love our clothes to smell nice um so um yeah i got a different one this week let me know what one you normally get because I like the smell of this. I really am in the hunt of finding things that smell like sweet vanilla, like like vanilla extract, you know? I want I want to smell like that. <laughs> I really do. But nothing smells like that to me. Also, I don't know why the camera is making me look so tanned because in person, I wish I was that tanned. Um, in person, my tan's not actually that dark, so... It's nice making my face look really tan. I don't know why. Anyway, yeah, and my hair still loving it, but I can't be bothered to wash. Like it's hair wash day tomorrow, so I wasn't gonna wash my fringe today. So I've just pinned it back. I think it looks quite cute. I don't know. I think if I hadn't gone for a walk and it's gone all like flicky and horrible, then it'd look cute. But hey ho, there you go. Um, also, update. I put the nose ring back in. <laughs> if you watched last week's weekly vlog, I was like, the nose ring's gone. I'm um a new woman blah 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 it's back okay so um don't judge me i i just feel bare without it Do you know connor always says he never even notices my nose ring because he's so used to it and even when i took it out he didn't even notice to get out so it doesn't really make that much difference does it but to me i feel like it's been part of me since i was like 16 and i just don't want to get rid of it so it's staying <sighs> is that all i have to update you on 
I think so. I'm feeling really positive. I feel like it's going to be a really good week. I have nothing planned as normal. It's just going to be a nice, homely, cosy vlog. Let's say three things we're grateful for. I always do five in my journal, but for the purpose of keeping this vlog not too long and me rambling at you, let's do three. So, I am one, I'm grateful for my body, keeping me alive, keep working, keeping me healthy, keeping me active. Super, super grateful. I'm grateful for my dog. He's having a little nap on his blanket right now, but he just gives the best cuddles. I just never know love like I, lo like I know love from him. You know, love from a dog is just another level. So I'm grateful for my dog. Thirdly, I say this one all the time, I'm grateful for all the people who surround me, family, friends, anyone who supports me and brings positivity into my life. I'm grateful for. I'm also grateful for everyone who watches these videos. Like super, super grateful. You have no idea how much it means to me. And I hope that I can light up your week in some way or another. I've been rambling for eight minutes straight and I know you're bored. So I'm gonna go and I will talk to you, if not later tonight, then probably tomorrow. Happy Tuesday, everyone. I feel like I need the light on. Is that better? Um, it's currently like, nearly four in the afternoon and I haven't picked up the camera because I've had not like a busy day. I always find it harder to pick up the camera and like do the weekly vlog stuff when I'm filming the main channel video in the same day because it's like a lot of filming in one day. So yeah, basically filmed the main channel video and I don't know, I've just been busy I guess. I don't know what I've done. I filmed the main channel video. I sorted out my calendar. I had a hair wash, like an everything shower, hair wash and the whole shebang. I went for a run. I went for a walk. Um, I edited my YouTube video. And I think that might be it. But I don't know why it feels like I did a lot more than that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So, as you may or may not know, I do not know. No, you will know because if you watch the start of this vlog you definitely will know um i did a 24 hour fast yesterday and i was just going to talk to you about how i found it and yeah that kind of jazz so first of all i was hungry like it was hard it wasn't easy but it also wasn't like the hardest thing ever like i felt fine and actually by the 24 hour mark i really wasn't that hungry so um, I think we ended up fasting for like 25 hours just because of, by the time we'd actually cooked something it was like 25 hours. Um, so yeah, but what I will say is I woke up this morning, felt very energised and very, like my body felt different, I can't really explain it. My body felt a bit more toned. My I went to the toilet this morning, which is actually quite rare for me, to wake up and go to the toilet. So I did that and it was like a normal bowel movement. Do you know what I mean? Like it was on the, uh, Connor will be proud, the Bristol poo chart. It was like a perfect poo. I'm um, sorry if that really grosses anyone out, but I am not used to that because normally I'm very much a four times a week kind of gal. And I'll let you know if I go again tomorrow, but if I do, we could be on something here. What I am actually going to do with the fasting is I'm going to try it once a week for a month because you are supposed to do it like once a week. And I didn't find it that difficult, so I feel like it's very easy to do. I then also ate like normal for the rest of the day. So I had my lunch, had my dinner, and then I had a bigger pudding, like my yogurt and granola. I had like basically two servings of it. Um, just because I didn't want to like under eat calorie wise because it's not I'm not doing it for to lose weight but yeah I'm gonna do it for a whole month so let me know if you guys want a dedicated video to that like my transformation what I thought um, that kind of stuff but I actually really enjoyed it I really did and I'm definitely gonna be doing it again so I thought I'd just catch you up on that and do I have anything else to catch you up on no we're having carrot and coriander soup for dinner i think i'm just gonna do it with bread and butter because i really can't bother to make like toasty or anything i hope Connor doesn't mind um and then i'm gonna have my granola pot as normal this cora cora carrot and coriander soup is so good i basically 
use four normal sized medium sized carrots um one large onion um a normal sized potato just one potato then a teaspoon of ground cumin a teaspoon of ground coriander then fresh coriander and then 80 grams of coconut like creamed coconut um or cultured coconut i don't really know what it's called and a stop cube and it's delicious and it's so easy you basically just chop up all the veg nice and small fry off the onions then add your stock and then just let it boil for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you blitz it up and then add half of the fresh coriander i don't know if i said that i've got fresh coriander and the coconut and it's just perfect like honestly so such a good dinner and it's if you are worried about like if you're trying to lose weight or whatever you're in a calorie deficit whatever um it's actually just a really healthy meal you'll get in your carrots you get in your veg in there and it's delicious so highly recommend that and yeah basically that is all i wanted to catch you up on but what do you think of my hair i've got a little headband in today i thought that was cute i mean like the most baggiest outfit today i've got joggers on and like this massive oversized t-shirt from primark but comfort is all i'm going for today comfy clothes perfect um but i think we're going to i was playing hogwarts before this and then i was like oh i've only got like 10 minutes before i have to make dinner so that's annoying so let's do affirmations today because um i feel like gratitude was just saying if not then i'll insert them later in the week but let's do affirmations today everything i want wants me more Everything I want wants me more. So good. Everything I want wants me more. I am beautiful, kind and loving. I am beautiful, kind and loving. And let's do one more. Money flows to me easily from all directions. Money flows to me easily from all directions. Repeat those. Believe them. Feel them. You got this. We are positive people, you know? And um, that's all I have to say on the matter. So thank you for tuning in to Tuesday. <laughs> Nothing to tell you. Do you want me to show you the soup when it's done? I feel like I should show you the soup when it's done. I think we're just gonna have it with brown bread. Soup is done. Soup, soup, soup. This is dinner. You, you really can't see, can you? I pan you down. Carrot and coriander soup, and then we just got wholemeal buttered, wholemeal buttered bread. The coconut just takes this soup to another level. So that is my dinner. I'm gonna go, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. I could have another yo in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here. Must not know about me. I'll be nothing, nothing without you. Alexa, stop. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. I'm in such a good mood. I think it's because I got up and went for a run this morning, um, which I never normally do. I went for a run at quarter past seven this morning. Like, normally I wait, but this morning, I did not, which is why my hair looks a little bit crazy. I literally jumped in the shower, dropped Connor off at work, come home, and now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna make some breakfast. And I thought, say good morning. Is it a bit dark? Like, I, I really can't tell. Um, I'm gonna have porridge, because I'm not gonna have porridge. Yeah, because um, I love porridge. Just absolutely bloody love it. So, oh, I'm also going to, basically, I tried putting chocolate chips in this thing, but it made it taste funny. So I'm going to put chocolate chips in here. Let's do that. I'm just feeling so good. Honestly, guys, if you take anything away from these videos, make it to exercise when you wake up or like in the morning because it really does just feel really good for the rest of the day and I love it chocolate chips um so let's keep them there two extras so you can go back in the bag 
got a massive bag of chocolate chips um, from my dad's work because they were freebies. I'm actually gonna have Craig Forest with some dark chocolates and raspberries, I think. That's what I'm fancying. But how's everyone feeling? Are you feeling good? I hope you're feeling good. If you're not feeling good, move your body in some way. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything extreme. I'm gonna do half water, half milk. Um, be what be. Do some like yoga or pilates or like gentle movement, but seriously, when I tell you it makes so much difference to how you feel when you wake up and do exercise, like it's just crazy. I don't really understand it to be honest. I didn't, um, I think it's like the endorphins just set your day off right, and I really highly recommend so that's my little life advice for today let me put this in the mic that is breakfast tell me that doesn't look absolutely divine should we do a taste test so oh my god the chocolate's all melted i'm mixing it all together this is how i like to eat my porridge i mix it all together because then you get everything that's probably really gonna annoy people because I see people that they can't stand it when things are mixed together. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Try that porridge. Mm -mm -mm. Why is that so nice? Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy this. If anything exciting happens, I will pick up the camera. But yeah, I just wanted to share breakfast with you. Good morning, everyone. It is currently Thursday. Oh, excuse me. I just went out on my hair looking like this. It's actually embarrassing. Um, it's just so flat. <laughs> oh dear, why did I go out like that? Anyway, I just dropped Connor off at work and it is Thursday. I needed to do like a little top up shop, top up shop in Sainsbury. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what I got milk we seem to have like weeks where we go through milk so fast and then other weeks when we just don't even touch it so i don't understand that i've been craving a diet coke for a long time so i treated myself um i then this is how much coffee i have left it's like one more cup so I didn't really know what flavour to get. My dad got my other coffee from Aldi, which I really liked, but I was in Sainsbury's and I wasn't going to Aldi as well, I couldn't be bothered. So I tried some of the Sainsbury's own brand one. They look like this. So I got a few. <laughs> and I will show you which one I got. I got the house blend, which says smooth and nutty. See, this smells like like a normal good cup of coffee you know um and this is medium strength three then i got espresso five strong because um why do i get espresso because i normally have espressos like i have a shot of espresso with a lot of stuff so i thought it makes sense to have like an espresso coffee bean coffee ground coffee whatever you want to call it um and this smells so nice. I did just go off scent. And then I got Intense Roast, which is full bodied and spicy. I'm not sure about this one. The spiciness is a bit weird, isn't it? But once again, if I could smell it. Getting these stickers off to smell was so hard. Like I was in the shop trying to peel them off so I could smell the coffee. It does smell good. But let me know what your favourite like ground coffee or coffee beans are because I'd be interested to know I'm on the hunt. Um, and then what else did we get? Pecans. I love pecans. Didn't have any. So I picked up some pecans and also two bags of walnut half. They didn't have a big bag so I skipped two little bags which was a little bit annoying but hey ho there we go. I then got a chopped tomatoes because I didn't realise 
we only have one in the cupboard and I need it for our cottage pie. And then I got this. This is fun. This is a Dishmatic Big Job scrubber thing. And I thought for pans and stuff, like sometimes we find it really hard to get stuff off the pans. So I thought that was good. I think Connor will enjoy that. Um, and that's all I got. So I hope you enjoyed my little haul. Cost me an arm and a leg as it always does, but hey ho, there we go. Why do I keep saying that? Hey ho, there we go. I'm gonna make some breakfast now. I'm not really sure I fancy to be honest with you. I think I'm just gonna have some bran flakes. I might throw some like nuts in, maybe a bit of chocolate, I don't know. I wasn't gonna go for a run today. It's it's definitely supposed to be my rest day today, but it's really nice weather. <laughs> so now I'm considering if I should go for a run. You know? I've also got some exciting news. I'm not doing housework today because I did that the other day. Don't need to do this, so let's delete that then. I'm just going through my calendar quickly just to see what I can do. I could easily go for a run then. So I might do that. And then get ready, film video. Right, yeah, I've got some... I don't know if it's, is it, if it's exciting for you or not, but I've actually got myself a job. I've actually got myself a little job, so I thought we could talk about it while I make my breakfast. So essentially, um, let me think about this before I start talking, because I always talk before I think and then what I say doesn't really make sense. So brain so i was at my mum and dad just today and um they had like their kitchen done because they had a leak so i was just there doing the cleaning which is like obviously my job and um i went to the works the other day with my mum and i like said on a whim oh I should ask if they have any jobs because I used to work at this works like a few years ago and I used to love it. So I was like, oh, I should have asked her if she had any jobs. Just as like a joke. It's kind of like a passing comment, to be honest. Anyway, fast forward to today and no, yesterday. See, this is why I don't, I have trouble talking. No, I don't have trouble talking at all. Um, I was at my mum's doing the cleaning and my dad was like, oh, I heard you was thinking about getting a part-time job. And don't get me wrong, I am extremely fortunate to be in the position I'm in right now where Connor supports me um, and I don't have a job or anything. I obviously do YouTube and TikTok, but yeah he is like more than okay with supporting me. We've kind of had this thing where we've always like taken it in turns on who earns more money and who supports one one another. So it's just always been like a thing in our relationship. Anyway, my dad's like, oh, I've got a proposition for you. Um, I need someone at work to start doing some admin because it's not getting done. And he was like, it'd only be like a couple of hours every day if you wanted to do that, probably only, um, only like part-time hours kind of thing and I was like why not I know everyone who works there <laughs> because it's my dad's it's my dad's um business so it's not like I don't know anyone Connor obviously works there um and I just thought heck why not give it a go see how I get on if I hate it I don't have to carry on because it's like my dad so yeah, I'm actually starting that this afternoon, so that should be interesting. It's just like paperwork, phoning people, literally just all admin stuff. Well, I just thought it'd actually be nice to have a bit of money every week, so yeah, just in case you're listening, I've got myself a little part time job. Obviously, my YouTube and stuff is my main priority, so. Like this still comes number one, it's what I want to do for work. It's like how I want to, I, this is how I see my future as being a YouTuber. So yeah, it's just like a little part time, just to earn a little bit of extra money. That means I can like invest in some better equipment and stuff like that. So yeah, new job 
incoming. Jasmine, the administrator. Is that the um, right term? <laughs> oh, I don't know. But yeah, I'm starting that this afternoon. So that should be interesting. Um, what else do I want in here? I've got bran flakes, dark chocolate, pecans. I might do some mixed seeds and then call it a day. Should I put some coconut in there? Coconut could be quite nice. I'm gonna go with some mixed seeds, not too many. That'll do. And then, did I drop one? Yeah. Um, let's do five of them. Um, I'm going to do some coconut. I'm just going to do some shredded coconut. Because why the hell not? I love coconut. Does anyone else love coconut? Like, I honestly... Oh, I was going to look for coconut milk and I completely forgot. I'm only going to do a little bit of this because it might make it taste a bit... Funky. Okay, that will do. And then some almond milk. I actually prefer like almond milk in like cereal and stuff, but I obviously forgot to get any, so This is my weird concocted breakfast. I'm gonna give it all a mix. Bran flakes, coconut, mixed seeds, walnuts, and dark chocolate. And I'm also gonna make myself another coffee. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to try the intense. I'm gonna have to do it because something's telling me to. Well, I should just use up my other one really, but oh well. Um make this Let's see if I can balance you over here somewhere oh, you can go on the coffee machine awful lighting but hey hi oh, that smells strong so let's do one scoop of this this is how I do it you put the scoop in here and you can press it down and on the machine it goes I'm gonna leave that one there, put the others in the cupboard. But yeah, I'm gonna try these soon and I'll let you know what I think. I love coffee. Coffee is just the best thing ever. Um, and I need a mug. These are our coffee mugs, like they're the perfect size for a, a coffee for this machine, so. They're the ones I use. I'm gonna do it as an espresso, taste it, and then I'll make it into an Americano, but I kinda wanna taste what, it, what it's like first. Sorry, I've got hiccups. Let's try some of my breakfast. <gasps> oh my gosh, I've got such hiccups. I'm so like, noisy this morning. Right. Mm. Guys, if you're gonna try anything, try this Bran Flake mix. Mm. It smells so strong. This is what I'm trying. The creme on top, so good. Oh. That is beautiful. Americano, here I come. That is lovely. So I'm gonna go sit down and drink this and I'm gonna bring you with me and we can have a little chat. So I thought we could talk more about like my new job and what it's gonna like entail and stuff like that. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is paperwork. So filing invoices and then, um, I don't really know, filing invoices and then chasing payments from customers um wages sorting out the wages that kind of stuff literally like all admin stuff but i am excited for it no one wants to hit that because i haven't really done a job like this and it is just working for my dad so it's not 
like causing me a lot of anxiety starting a new job really causes me a lot of anxiety and it's one of the reasons i've like hate looking for jobs and hate working that is so nice it's so smooth that would be perfect for an iced coffee actually new exciting opportunities so i don't know it's weird it's like weird to think that i'll be working but i'm only going to be doing like a two hours every morning and then if i need to extra in the afternoon but dad don't think it'll take much more than that so it's really not like even a part-time job it's kind of really flexible he said some of the work i can do from home as well so it's looking good happy friday everyone excuse what i look like i'm currently getting ready for the day it is like quarter to eight i think um had a bit of a lay in this morning not gonna lie i did not get up at six which is my normal wake up time but i've got really bad like wisdom too anyway i thought we could talk while i get ready i mean i'm already like already starting getting ready but then i was like oh i should chat chat and catch up with you guys so i did my first afternoon at work yesterday um it actually went really well i had to write notes so i could remember everything but i'm going in today again for like four hours i think um but yeah it was good it was like fine you know when you're like anxious about something like i know it's my dad but i was still like anxious about what i had to do but um the job is literally fine so i have nothing to worry about but yeah got that planned um so the plans for today are to actually go through my calendar and reorganize that because i'm gonna have to put in for work um i'm kind of playing it by ear because it basically it's such a flexible role that i can do it like whenever i don't have to do it well yeah i can just do it whenever i want basically so i i could go in for like 10 hours on a friday and do it all on a friday or i could go in a couple of hours every day if that makes sense so i don't 100 know what i'm gonna do yet um, I think it's just going to change week from week to be honest or day from day but I think I think it's pointless going in on a Monday just because most of it, everything will be done from a Friday so I feel like I could go in longer on a Friday um, and not go in on a Monday, I don't, I don't know, we're going to just see how it goes, it's actually pretty hard to do my makeup when it's not bright or sunny outside it's actually like a really miserable day i should have gone for a run yesterday but my wisdom tooth is really playing up um i get this occasion it's like always in and around the time of my period and i've not long finished my period so yeah my wisdom tooth is not being my friend today uh but i didn't wear any makeup yesterday just to have like a little break and i wasn't doing anything but i just you know when it just makes you feel like you're ready for the day when you've got up you've got ready done your makeup and stuff so that is what i'm doing but apart from like the normal day to day shenanigans shenanigans i'm not really up to much i'm gonna walk to my dad to my work because it's not actually that far um I think Connor said it'd probably take about 20 minutes to walk there, which is nothing. So I'm just not, it's not exactly a nice walk, I'm not going to lie, it's like on the main road. But earphones in, zoned out, I'll be fine. Shall we talk about Lewis Hamilton? I mean, was it kind of expected because of Mercedes' performance in the last couple of years? Yes. But was I still shocked? Yes. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been following a lot of F1 since the break, um, just because, I don't know, I just haven't. Um, I've been like seeing bits here and there on Instagram, and then I just wake up this morning and it's been confirmed Lewis Hamilton is gonna be with Ferrari next year, and I was just like, I couldn't quite believe it. <laughs> I think it's just mad because, I was saying to Connor, I can't imagine him in another team colour, you know? 
He's been with Mercedes for, what, 11 seasons? I could be wrong, I think it's 11. Um, mad, absolutely mad, bonkers, can't believe it. I think it's just because you get so used to like a driver being with the team and he's just such a Mercedes, what are they called? Like I think I, I think Mercedes. I instantly just think Lewis Hamilton, you know. Um, so that was a shocking bit of news to the system this morning. But yeah, I'm getting ready now. And then I'm gonna sort out my calendar, and then I don't know if anyone else gets this right, but I had a dream that I was playing Modern Warfare 3, and I haven't played it all week. And because I was playing it in my dream, all it's made me want to do is play Modern Warfare 3. So we're doing that today. Do you know what's weird? Every single day that I've done my makeup, I keep getting this weird like line down my nose. And I don't know what is causing it. Like, I just don't know where it's coming from. It's like not there. And then it just appears out of nowhere. It's so bizarre. Right, now that my makeup's all done, I'm going to try and attempt to do something with my hair. So... I'm thinking it's just gonna have to go back. The problem is I can't do like a sleek back look anymore without having grips in my hair because of my fringe. So I'm just gonna do as much as I can, you know. Um, but my hair is pretty greasy. Um, but today would be a hair wash day normally. But I'm going for a 5k run tomorrow and I just feel like there's literally no point washing my hair for it to just get greasy again tomorrow. So I'm thinking I'll just wash it tomorrow instead. So I don't know whether to put a hip back in as well just to keep everything back. I've got these little Alice bands from Sainsbury's and honestly they're lifesavers when you've got short hair. That's me done. I'm a working gal now. So I'm going to go sort out my calendar. I'm going to go get some breakfast and I'll talk to you in a little while. I'm literally going to have the same breakfast as I had yesterday because it was delicious.